The UK website Mirror is reporting on a hilarious story coming out of Turkey. A popular Muslim televangelist uh, has a very important warning for men who masturbate, also known as men, because all men masturbate. Or what, should I be uh, more conservative with that 99.9%? .9 so, Mirror reports, quote, I'm going to mispronounce this horribly, uh, Musahid Sihad Han made a bizarre statement during an appearance on 2000 TV while taking part in a Q&A session with viewers. The self-styled Muslim televangelist was told by a questioner that he kept masturbating even though he was married, and he asked Mr. Han for advice. So let's pause here real quick. Fantastic thing to do. What you always, uh, where you want to get your answers from is... You should call TV shows to talk to uh, religious idiots to get advice about the most personal things uh, to you, like masturbation. That's the best place to go. I, you know, I oftentimes call Pat Robertson whenever I'm having trouble with uh, constipation or diarrhea. He always gives some good advice. So, uh, he responded by urging viewers to, quote, resist Satan's temptations. He told the questioner, here's the best part, Moreover, one hadith states that those who have sexual intercourse with their hands will find their hands pregnant in the afterlife. Okay, how does that work? <laughs> so, you beat off on this earth, and in the afterlife, your hands are pregnant. But, look, I don't know about you guys, but when you jerk off, you're not actually getting... This this conversation getting gross very quickly. You're not actually getting man juices on your hands. Maybe they do. I don't know. I guess so, but... So the hands get pregnant, and then, as a lot of commentators on uh, Twitter pointed out, so can you get a hand abortion? Is that allowed in the afterlife? Because I know that... Uh, Islam does not frown as much on abortion as Christianity does. Is that allowed? As another Twitter person said, uh, can you get, are there hand gynecologists in the afterlife if you need some assistance with your, your, your kids? Or can you send them out for adoption? Do you have to take care of your own hand baby, uh, masturbation babies? How exactly does this work? I want to know some details, man. Because apparently, uh, our religious buddy here, he, uh... <laughs> He, he knows this as a matter of fact. Now, one of the scariest parts of this story, you ready? This guy has 12,500 followers on Twitter. Dude, that's more than me. <laughs> 12,500 followers on Twitter. And he's talking about masturbation hand babies. Now, thankfully, uh, Turkish Twitter which is an awesome term, Turkish Twitter, uh, blew up mocking this guy. And uh, Hurriyet even dove further into the question of uh, masturbation in Islam. They say, quote, Istimna, the Arabic term for masturbation, is a controversial issue in Islam. <laughs> First of all, okay, hold on. I, I have to interject here. If that's a controversial issue in whatever ideology or religion you're a part of, Leave that thing! Masturbation is should be the least controversial thing ever! It's such a normal thing that normal people do. It's, contro it's controversial, and I mean, that's like saying, you know, whatever. Eating spaghetti is controversial, or peeing is controversial. Whatever, something like that. It's not controversial. Okay, they continue. As there have been varying opinions on its uh, permissibility throughout history. The Quran has no clear reference to masturbation, and the authenticity of many hadiths is questionable. Despite Han's assertive religious stance, only a limited number of Islamic interpretations categorize masturbation as haram, which is a forbidden act, while most, uh, most of others call it makru, which is a disliked act. So it's one level below haram. So it's not totally, it's not the worst thing. Uh, many of the mainstream I Islamic interpretations even allow it in certain conditions. Like if the act could be used to avoid the temptation of an extramarital affair. That's the most liberal interpretation of like, well, if it's to avoid fucking somebody that's not your wife, sure, beat off, no problem. But even according to that interpretation, if you're just horny at a random time and 
there's no threat of you cheating on your wife, it's wrong to beat off? I have a radical idea. How about we stop looking to really old books that make no sense to try to draw moral conclusions about how we should live today? In fact, that's probably the last place I would ever go to learn anything about anything. The old desert books should stay where they belong in the past and in the fucking desert. Let's not bring that into the year 2015 and make asses of ourselves on television by talking about how masturbation leads to hand babies.